got Shea Bear 1000 here and it's a monkey. So, Shea Bear Spooky Story Time. Mm. It's about a haunted car. But not only that, we have video proof, kind of, mm -hmm. of that car. So stick around and check this out. Okay guys, so <clears throat> we're sitting in the truck, or new, well it's old, but it's new to us, because it's kind of fitting, because is this car haunted? We don't know yet, do we? No. But there was some very interesting stuff, if you guys watched, if not, go back and check out my uh, paranormal and hauntings and paranormal investigations playlist. It'll be in there. There was uh, something going on in this car. It has not done it since, and it didn't do it before. It just did it that one night. Right. So, anyway. But it's not about this car. It's about an old Buick. Yeah. Out in the middle of nowhere. So, <clears throat> normally I just throw... I would just throw a clip in, but it's real quick. Okay? And I'll have to loop it for you, and I'll magnify the audio the best I can. You may still have to put your headphones on. What was that? Oh, Look. shit. See it? <gasps> what is that? I think... Okay, I got a big IR light up here on the dash. And, um... It's a full charge battery. You me the shivers. And it's going dead. Wow. That's a full charge battery. Mm. That's one of the ones I just charged up the other night. Oh my god. And I haven't used it. <clears throat> okay, well. <laughs> oh god. So, anyway. It's still doing It's got it. an interesting. It's going dead, see it? Oh my god. You got another battery? I got three more batteries, yes. Oh, okay. Let me get a battery, guys. It's freaking her out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hang tight. Oh my god. Okay, guys. We're back. Battery number two. So, anyway, where was I? The green Buick, right? Yeah. This thing is out in the middle of nowhere. So, I'll tell you a story. It wasn't too long after we got together. I was with her going to work. It was one of her patients. And I'll let her kind of tell the whole story here in just a second. But she went in, and we parked right beside this Buick. You'll see in the video clip. And the door the doors on this Buick kept locking and unlocking you know it has power locks so you know well there was a guy over the trailer about as far from here to the house away and he was climbing up and down a ladder when this was going on so I just thought it was his car and he had his key fob in his pocket and it was pushing buttons you know how they do and it was locking and unlocking the door well she came back out just a minute or two later what for your blood pressure cuff or something she had to get something out of the truck, right? Yeah. And so I said, I said, this is funny. I said, this guy's got his, got his key fob in his pocket and his doors on his car keeps locking and unlocking. And she says, oh, that's not his car. He drives that van over there. He's just a handyman. I said, what? She said, yeah, that car's haunted. What? What the fuck? <laughs> she said, "Yeah, it's haunted." This the, the the guy in here. His dad died in that car. Yeah. Okay. So, anyway, it's like what? And, and she just walks the hell away. Goes back in. The, I'm like, what the hell? So I I get my phone out and I'm trying to record this. I caught it one time, but I was kind of talking. But you'll hear it if you listen close. You'll hear it uh, unlock because it had locked. So I'll let her tell you the story. Hopefully she don't get too off, far off track. But I'm good at that. Yeah, she'll go talking about how close she lived. It. Just tell the story about what they told you. Because she asked about, <coughs> she asked about the car because she was looking for a car for her son or something. Yeah. So, so anyway, she asked about the car because it'd always been sitting there. So, go ahead. Anyways, I asked the woman I was taking care of. 
um, about the car. And I said, you, is it for sale? And she said, no. She said it was her son's. And um, her son won't sell it. It was his dad's. And he passed away in it. So he would not get rid of it. So some he would wash it and he would sit in it. And it would stay in the driveway. But she said that it was haunted. And I said, what do you mean it's haunted? And this is way before I even got into this paranormal with him. When I've she never, first heard the story, we yeah, weren't together yet. No, we were not even together. So, um, and she told me that, you know, the doors would open and close. The locks on the doors would go up and down. And the lights would go on and off. And the horn would go off in the middle of the night. And um, they figured it was him, or his dad. And this car didn't have alarm system. It just had electronic no. locks, just like no. this. You, it's got a key fob, but that one's going dead. What the hell? It's got a key fob, but it didn't have the alarm. So, the, and wipers would come on? Yeah, every once in a while they would show on. They, and they would look out and... And these Wipers all didn't going. happen all at once. They happened here and there, you know. Yeah, not all the time. Things. Just yeah, yeah, just whenever they'd be right sitting like in the living room and they'd see headlights. You know how like yeah. you see headlights come in through the window, mm -hmm. and they'd look out thinking someone pulled in. Here, the Buick had its lights on, and right. when they would come out to shut them off, they would go off. Yeah, they weren't on. You know, that 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 year Buick. You know, you couldn't just have them come on in the middle of the night. Right. You know, you got a timer like this. When you got a timer, they'll shut off so so many seconds after you get out of the car, but they don't come on. Wipers, and they also had what a couple different mechanics. Yeah, he had a couple of mechanics look at it because they thought there was some wiring issues or something going on, and there was nothing wrong with it. Nothing. Yeah, the guy would just go out and start it up once in a while, and sit in, and listen to music, whatnot, wash it, and whatever. But um, when it started doing that, they just thought, I know, the, these batteries are fully charged, I'm telling you. And I'm telling you, I, I changed the battery because here's the one I took out. So, anyway, so they, you know, just thought there was an electrical issue, a short, so they wanted to have it checked out because they didn't want the car burning now. <coughs> so that's a story of the Buick. Now I'm going to throw that clip in right now and I'm gonna loop it for you several times so you can hear it and um, I'll play pretty much the whole clip for you it's only like a minute long but and then then I'll I'll loop the uh, I'll enhance the audio and loop loop it for you right when it happens um, so you can hear it so and then we'll be back with you okay I gotta try to get this I don't know if you can hear it or not so this right there did it this Buick there's no one in it and the door locks keep locking and unlock the power door locks Apparently someone died in this car. Okay, I gotta try to get this. I don't know if you can hear it or not. But this, but this, but this, but this, but this. Okay, so there you go. I put the other battery, the first one that started going dead, back in, and look at it, it's fine. And these things are getting warm. These batteries never get warm when they run down. They just quit working or they'll start, you know, flashing like that and quit working, but they never get hot. Both these are starting to get warm. So anyway, what do you guys think of that? That's pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Like I said, we still don't know what's going on with this thing, but we're going to do an investigation in here some night. Maybe we'll do a live stream. That'd be interesting. Maybe. We'll see. So, but like I said, it didn't do it before that night, and it hasn't done it after that, and I watch monitors every night. However, that night is when the hard drive on the DVR stops recording you know it is old you know it's coming up on four years old or whatever so 
you know, that's probably natural. I mean, it's old. It, you know, that thing records 24-7, you know, every day, no breaks. So, it is getting old, but for it to go out at that time, you know, mm -hmm. that day, weird. But anyway, so yeah, we're not sure what's going on with this thing, but now that light's working good. Hmm. See it? Yeah. That's weird. All right, guys. Well, and of course, we got a car coming. <laughs> so anyway, is that all monkey? Yeah. That's all you got to add to the Buick story? Yeah, she didn't really talk about it a whole lot, but that's what they told me. Well, no, I wouldn't either because people think you're crazy. Hmm. And that was well, it. I don't care though. I would talk about it, but, but I mean, yeah, they're so you know, um, they probably still got it. <laughs> yeah, he. Pro oh yeah, he he wasn't going to sell it. I tried to get him to sell it, but he wouldn't sell it. Yeah. I, as long as the son's him, alive, he you know. he won't sell it. No. Mm -mm. And no. he's what our age? Mm, he's probably 62 somewhere mm. in there. In the but anyway, yeah. So, all right, guys. Well, there you go. That's the spooky story time, and like I said, it's kind of like a, you know, if you can hear that door unlocking, you know, it's kind of like, goes along, I won't, I won't consider it as true, or, you know, as, as proof, but, I mean, the story is true, yeah. you know, I mean, well, we can't prove the car's haunted, but the story itself is true, I mean, we're telling you a story, and that's what they told her, and I kind of can verify it with that, that door unlocking. And, and, you know, I heard it myself. And she said she's heard it several times, locking and unlocking. And so, pretty weird, man. <laughs> so, anyway, there you go. So, I guess I'm going to say Shea Bear and the Man of Legend. I'm out for now. It's hot. Monkey says she's out for now, y'all. Bye. You scared? No. You scared of this truck? No. Did it bother you though? It still you bothers me. <laughs> because I, I'm sitting there thinking, uh, does someone die in here? Well, and it was in her, on her seat. That yeah, it was doing that's it even too. worse. <laughs> it was in her seat. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm cool over here. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, alright, there we go. And this battery's down a bar on my camera. Mm -hmm. It's fully charged. Wow. I just took it off the charger today. Hmm. and there's hmm. a lot of that going on because it's rained all day here yeah it rained all day we're not talking just sprinkled it poured all day and didn't let up it no. actually filled the boat up with water yeah because i didn't have it tilted up yeah and so i got it tilted up and it took five minutes to drain Ugh. so anyway this got to be annoying for you guys so we're going to go now we'll see you guys soon and uh you know stay tuned for another video about uh fedex too Mm. screwing me <laughs> alright monkey anything else not right now <laughs> well if she thinks of something she'll tell you guys later I knew next video <laughs> alright bye guys bye y'all <laughs> okay I gotta try to get this I don't know if you can hear it or not but this but this but this but this but this Right there, did it. This Buick, there's no one in it. And the door locks keep locking and unlock the power door locks.